Greetings friends and welcome to my channel. This video will be redundant for those of you that have been with me from the beginning. However, new people come in all of the time. I am in my hometown, the beautiful downtown Nashville, Tennessee, and I have a tree infestation problem that needs to be corrected. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly remove trees. As you can see here, there's trees out in the middle of the water where they do not belong. And in other locations where they do not belong. This is simply the artificial intelligence trying to interpret what it's seeing on the ground. If the artificial intelligence senses an area where it thinks trees need to go, then the artificial intelligence will place the trees in the location. What I'm going to do in this short video is show you how to remove trees in locations where they do not belong, and I'm going through every step from the very beginning. So stand by for a few seconds, and I will show you how easy it is to remove trees when trees are where they do not belong. In this video, I will not be making any assumptions on your level of knowledge in working with SDK and scenery. The only assumption I will make is that you do not know anything about the SDK, so I will go through every step from the very beginning to make sure you understand every step that it takes to remove trees where they should not be. Of course, you have to open Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and once it's open, I will go to Options, General Options, Developers, On, Apply, and Save. Once I completed the step of going into Developers mode, a new menu appears on the top of the screen. I will refer to this menu as the Developers menu. So on the Developers menu, go to Help, and you will see options in the Help. You need to be on Downloads, and you want to drop down to SDK Installer Core and install SDK. I'm not going to install SDK because I already have SDK installed. After SDK is installed, you want to tick on Samples and download the samples. It will depend on how you have your system set up, but for me, SDK is installed on my C drive in a folder called MSFS SDK. I honestly cannot remember if I named this folder MSFS SDK or if it's automatically downloaded that way, but regardless, that is how it is on my machine. It may be different on your machine based upon how you set it up to load. It is always a good idea to have a separate scenery folder. And for this video, I created a separate folder on my desktop simply named Video Tutorial. And now I will open up the SDK folder. I will open up samples. I will go down and look for simple scenery. And here is simple scenery. I want to make a copy of simple scenery. And I'm going to paste it into my temporary folder that I am using for scenery. And there it is. The next step is to go to the location where the work is to be performed. I will go to the welcome menu, the world map, and I will park my plane here at KBNA Nashville International. The aircraft will be cold and dark, so I won't have to worry about the aircraft flying away. I'll select the location, set its departure. I want to change the time to roughly midday. And I also want to make sure that I'm not using live weather. I want clear skies. And now fly. Once a plane spawns in, I will hit ready to fly. At this time, I will go up to what I call the developer menu. And I will choose camera and developer camera. And once I choose the developer's camera, I will be outside of the aircraft. 
and I can freely move the developer camera using the same keystrokes that you use on your drone camera. And now I will move over to the location where I want to remove the trees. I could bring out my tools now. I will hold off opening the tools until I am in the vicinity of where I want to work. There is downtown and there is where I'm heading. And now that I am in the location where I want to work, I am now going to open up my tools. I will open up the tools by going back up to the developer menu, Tools, Project Editor. Once the project editor is open, I will see my project editor and I will see the inspector. If this is your first time, you may not see the inspector. To see the inspector, you go down to your project editor, View, and tick on Inspector. And now from the project editor, I'm going to tick Project, Open Project, and now I will navigate to the temporary folder I placed on my desktop. Video Tutorial, and now I will open up the simple scenery folder that we moved from the SDK scenery folder to the temporary folder on my desktop. I will double click and once double clicked there should be a package definitions, a package sources and a scenery project XML document. I will tick on the scenery project XML and I will hit open. Once a project has loaded in you should see it in your project editor and you will notice my company scenery simple. I will tick on my company scenery simple and when I do, you see the inspector lights up. Any information you place in the inspector will be visible to you in your content manager. So I will go ahead and give this project a name and fill out this information. I call this Nashville Tree Removal. I will tick down and enter in my company name. At this point, I could move on because there is a thumbnail already provided in the scenery folder and you can use this thumbnail but I'm going to use my own thumbnail and now my thumbnail is in place so now that I've given the project a title I have entered my creator name I have entered my thumbnail if you see a thumbnail here you're good to go you can use the stock thumbnail or add your own now with everything in the inspector as it should be, I'm going to build the package. From the inspector window, come down to build package and build package. Keep in mind if this is not highlighted and you are not seeing the information in the inspector, the build package will fail. So you need to see exactly what I'm seeing here, the project ticked on, my company scenery simple, and the inspector loaded. And now I will build the package. The dialog box will pop up saying that modifications are detected. You want to tick yes. And it takes a few seconds for the package to build. But once built, you can go back up to your developer menu, window, and tick on the console to remove it. Now that the console's out of the way, I want to go back to the project editor and tick on my company scenery simple and you will see marketplace data my scene and my model lib you want to tick on my scene and once you do that the inspector changes and you want to tick on load in editor if this is your first time these windows may not pop up but this is not my first time so they do pop up so what you want to see is you certainly want to see your scenery editor, you want to see your objects window pop up and the gizmo pop up. Although I may not be using the gizmo today, it is important. If your objects does not pop up or your gizmo pop up, you can go down to the scenery editor, tick on view, and then you can tick on the objects and you can tick on the gizmo and they will pop up. Now while I was doing all of that talking, the scenery library loaded up. 
all the different materials and objects in my scenery library are now loaded in. So I will tick on all on my objects window. And now I want to go up to the object type. By default, this is on scenery and I want to change it to polygon. So I will tick on the arrow and open up the options. And then I will go down and find polygon. Now as polygon as my object type, I'm going to remove trees that are on this bridge that should not be on this bridge. But first I'm going to maneuver my camera to get a good angle. Once I'm satisfied with the angle, I'm going back up to the objects menu. I'm going to make sure polygon is highlighted and I'm going to hit add. So I'm going to start my polygon here, so I'll move my mouse in location. To build a polygon, you must keep the left control button pressed the entire time while you use the left mouse button to set anchor points. So with the left control button pressed at all times, I will use my, I will use my left mouse button to set anchor points. Each mouse click of my left mouse button will set an anchor point and I will draw around the area where I want the trees removed. Tick with the mouse. You will notice there's trees out here that need to be removed. Tick with the mouse. Tick with the mouse. Tick again. Tick again. Tick again. Come out here to include this tree. I'll set an anchor point here by ticking. Maybe here. Here. And here. Now once I have my anchor points, I can double click with my left mouse button. And that releases the polygon and the polygon is built. The next step is to go back down to the scenery editor. Go to view tick on properties. The properties window should appear and once you see the properties window tick on vegetation and you will notice that once I ticked on vegetation a lot of trees appeared. That is normal. So back over to the properties window vegetation scale I'm going to take it all the way to the left and now if we take a look the tree should be removed. and that looks a lot better. I will do one more to make sure you have the process down. I'm now at Cumberland Park and there is some artwork here on the riverbank that you cannot see because of the trees. So I will also get rid of these trees. So again with the object type as polygon, I'm going to tick add. With my left control button down, I'm going to set anchor point another tick, another tick, another tick. Cover this complete area. And my last tick. And then double click. Again, back to the properties window. Tick on vegetation. And zero the scale and density. And once I do, you can see the artwork I was referring to. That is how easy it is to simply remove trees where trees do not belong. I could continue up and down the river and remove trees, but there is no point. I think you understand now. But if you've looked around in the simulator, you have probably seen a lot of trees where they do not belong. I have seen trees on top of buildings and in some very strange places where trees do not belong. And this method will work every time to get rid of the trees that need to be removed. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the properties menu because I no longer need it. I'm going to drop down to the scenery editor. I'm going to save the scenery by ticking on the save scenery button. The scenery is now saved and we want to build the final project. This is very important and here is where a lot of people have issues. I'm going to show you how to build a completed package 
so follow these steps exactly. To get our scenery editor up, we had to tick on My Scene and go up and load in Editor. But this is not the condition we want to be in to build the package. So instead of being on My Scene, move back up to My Company, Scenery Simple, and highlight. And once you highlight, the information you placed in the inspector will show up. If you do not see this information in the inspector, most likely you're ticked on the wrong module down here. Make sure you're on My Company Scenery Simple. To be sure, you can actually hit the arrow and remove the other objects. Make sure it's ticked on. Make sure the inspector has the information that you placed in earlier. And then build package. And the package is built. So once again, I will go to Windows and remove the console. At this point in time, I can shut the tools down. So I'll go back up to the developer menu, tools, tick off the scenery editor and project editor. And now let's open up the simple scenery folder. Once we have built a package, there will be more information in here. You will have a folder that looks like this. You will still have package definitions. You will have a package metadata that is new. Package sources is still here. And you will have the most important one, the package folder. So I will double click on the package folder. And this reveals my package. I'm going to bring up the community folder. And with my community folder open, I'm going to copy my company scenery simple and paste into the community folder. Once your package is in the community folder, I highly recommend you give this package a unique name. If you do not give it a unique name and you do multiple scenery folders, you will have a conflict with the name. So I will rename this to give it a unique name. I named this Patriot 6 hyphen Nashville hyphen tree removal. And then I'll simply hit enter. And now the package is in my community folder. So let's close the simulator down, restart, and look at our package. And now with the simulator restarted, I am going to open the developer camera and zip over to the area and see if the trees are removed. And as you can tell, the trees are no longer on the bridge. Also, the trees are permanently removed from the artwork at Cumberland Park. And that is how easy it is to remove trees in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. If you have any comments, feel free to leave those below. I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription because I make tutorial videos on a regular basis to help people work in SDK and improve their scenery. So thanks for watching. This is Patriot 6 and until next time, I will see you later.